Hey you guys, ever since I was first exposed to continuous glucose monitoring, I've been on a mission to tell the world about the importance of stable blood sugar. Now, as helpful as it is to understand more about your blood sugar, it still doesn't tell a complete picture about your metabolic health. If we really want to strive for overall physiological well-being, it's imperative to look at factors beyond blood sugar. Okay, my name's Austin, and I've been monitoring my blood sugar for almost a year now. One of the most valuable lessons I've learned so far is that some foods may provide short-term glucose stability while also wreaking havoc on our long-term metabolic health. Take ice cream, for example. Many people are surprised to find that their glucose remains stable even while enjoying their favorite frozen dessert. But what your glucose levels won't show you is that milk products can prompt the pancreas to send out damaging surges of insulin which can lead to insulin resistance down the road and ultimately still have an impact on your glucose. Of course, this isn't just the case for your favorite desserts. All kinds of foods that might not affect your blood sugar initially can still have long-term metabolic consequences. When you consider what contributes to optimal health, you can't ignore what micronutrients bring to the table. We may only need tiny amounts, but most of them are vital to cellular reactions involving proteins, enzymes, and hormones, which regulates every part of our body's functioning. While glucose readings are helpful in their own right, they don't give us any insight into nutrient deficiencies that could be negatively impacting your overall health. You know what else is often forgotten in a glucose-centric approach to health? Insulin. Research implies that trouble with insulin can begin at least a decade before its effects are detected through glucose levels. This means that your blood sugar readings could remain stable for years, even as you're becoming insulin resistant and creeping towards metabolic dysfunction. Okay, so if we take everything out of the picture and focus only on glucose, we still have so much to learn. Not only are we still researching how glucose levels relate to underlying conditions and long-term health, but our ideas about normal blood sugar are still evolving. At this point, you might be asking yourself, what's the point of measuring blood sugar at all? Well, as things stand currently, CGM is the only tool in our arsenal for gaining insight into how our bodies respond moment to moment to our diet and lifestyle choices. Ultimately, glucose monitoring isn't a panacea for your wellness goals, but it is a great place to start when attempting to make small changes towards optimal metabolic health. If you'd like to learn more about how glucose is necessary but not sufficient, take a look at our full-length blog post linked in the description below. And while you're there, you should check out our blog piece titled Eight Reasons Glucose is Worth Measuring. That'll give you some additional context around this important technology. All in all, monitoring glucose is helpful, but it isn't everything, and it's important to keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.